You asshole. Hello. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Good, how are you? <laughs> I'm okay. Hey, um, I reviewed your warrant. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to hit you with the classic here. I think this is more of a reason to investigate these people further. Okay. Uh, I don't think uh, there's enough to go to Jalen's properties right now. Um, primarily because if I look at this, your so your connection points here are uh, you've got this Mercury Frost woman with the metamorphine. You go into mm -hmm. the warehouse uh, with her permission. You find meth in the table, right? I so find the tables uh, in there. Right, right. Yeah, the, like you find the manufacturing point. Uh, the idea would be that if someone has access to make the meth and they're storing it, uh, it's possible it's in other areas. Now, problem here is uh, you find all those IDs in there, right? Like, hmm. so there's some tenuous link to Jalen Carter. Uh, but I mean, I mean, shit, Winona Fontaine's IDs in there, so it gets a little weird. Well, uh, and then you find the one bag in. <laughs> Mary Posa's possession, who claims that she found it in the glove box of Jalen Carter's car. They, but they, uh, but but he was there. His car was on scene in that report. I get it. I, I'm I'm saying I think there's links there. Right. I don't think there's enough to say that more likely than not, if you go into Jalen's properties, there's going to be more drugs. Uh, based on this, I think there's uh, enough of a linkage that it's a basis for you to put some like SCU nerd resources into it. Uh, and I think you might be able to build something uh, with the street team connections and all that. But I don't know. Uh, I don't. Well, I shouldn't say I don't know. Right now, with the probable cause you've provided, I don't think there's enough for. Well, the I'm not I saying I'm going to kick your door in, but uh, I mean, if you're you a please, I'm now. on the phone, Nova. Um, you don't think that's? I mean, it's pretty obvious that he's able to. Uh, you know, buy this meth. <laughs> right, but if he's able to buy it. <laughs> Then I think all signs are pointing. Why to does that mean a, it's in his apartment? Well, because I, I think he's a I think he's a distributor. I mean, why else would he be in a meth lab? And then also have smaller quantities of it already broken down, ready for street sale. Uh, where's the report of him in the meth lab and with the smaller quantities? This ID is in a meth lab. Essentially, we find a meth. Okay, so is Winona Fontaine. But Winona right Fontaine order. doesn't have broken down individual packages of the product if she did i'd be talking i'd be having did, the same conversation he? yes he has a small baggie of it that he gave to uh okay so okay so you're the way you're representing that is different than the reality because look put it this way right <laughs> if i have to make a logical leap and i'm not saying it's a giant one but i still have to in that number one mary wasn't lying number two in that she was being accurate with her recollection of how it happened. Number three, ah, all she it. said is that it was in the glove box of his car. <sighs> that means a million different things. Someone else could have put it there. He could have bought it from someone and put it in his car. It doesn't mean that he's the one making the meth. So you think Again, it's more logical that this ID is in this meth lab and then she's arrested a day later uh, with this with him with this bag on her that she's saying that he got out of the glove box. So so someone would have had to plant that ID in the meth lab and then plant that bag in his car and then make sure that she robs a bank with him. <laughs> no, I'm saying that there are variables <laughs> here that aren't determined. And for me, personally, looking at it, I don't think that 5149, there's more meth in his properties, especially because... Uh, he's a key holder on those properties. It's not even his property. All right. What so about here's this? Here's my question to you. If he's a meth cooker mm. and you found uh, a meth, I table don't think he is. I think he's a, a warehouse. I think he's a distributor. Just okay. to be clear. So if he's a distributor and you found a meth table in a warehouse, then why wouldn't he just keep all of his meth in the warehouse? Um, because I think that this warehouse was specifically for the manufacturing. I think that it gets broken down and moves to the distributors for free uh, for street sales. Because we didn't find any individual baggies or scales have, in the does warehouse. He have sale of drug charges. I'm sure. I'm pretty sure he does. Let me check. So that so so that's that's essentially what I'm saying. And uh, maybe I should have written out on the search warrant. But we didn't find any scales. We didn't find any baggies. Where the fuck is this paraphernalia? 
I see no sale of drugs. He does. He, he does have one felony. felony possession. Is yes, that he does. weed or is that meth? Uh, I believe it's weed. Yeah, so that's kind of a problem. Well, he moved up. I mean, where? So, so there's no scales. There's no baggies in this warehouse. He has a, an individual bag on him. Where the fuck's the baggies? Wait, he has an individual bag on him again. She found it in a glove box. In his car, and he's there robbing the bank with Wrangler, her. Wrangler, Fingal Dan got in my car the other day and put a bar of uranium in my glove box. And that's fine if Does your that ID make me a, a a terror, a nuclear terrorist. If your ID or if you were in a uh you know nuclear lab and there was a framed photo of you that said employee of the month, I might take a look at you. <laughs> was there a photo that said employee of the month? There might as well have been. He had an ID sent in there. And so did Winona Fontaine. Winona Fontaine, again, we're going in circles, has not been caught with this on the streets. All right. So, again, uh, I think you have a very, very right, what about close this? one here. Would you sign I off think... on cars? Why? Because that's the story that, that it was uh, given to her in the glove box of his car. No, the cars are even worse than the house. Okay. <laughs> like, if it's one bag, Wrangler, it, it, it doesn't uh, it doesn't create a circumstance that makes me believe there's more in there. In fact, it sounds like to me like you found the production facility, and you're saying the breakdown goes to other people. I'm saying uh, that they, that they get sent home with these big fucking bags of it, and they break it up in their home. That's what I believe. Why would he leave his ID in a meth manufacturer? People leave warehouse? shit around all the time. I don't fucking know. And who's and what's Mercury Frost connection? All this. Mercury Frost was uh, giving people metamorphine at auto. No, no, no. I know. I know what happened. I signed that. I'm asking. Have you looked into how she's connected to Street Team? Have you subpoenaed her phone records? No, she's in. She's in. Uh, she she's not talking. Okay, so subpoena her fucking phone records, Wrangler. You found a meth table in her warehouse. Yeah, I mean, I hear you, and I want to do that, but, you know, I try to move fast on these search right, warrants. Look, this is our perpetual evidence. conversation. I get it. Um, I, I'm not going to adjust my standard for a search warrant because you believe that if you don't move super fast, people are going to clear shit out. I'm just confused how weird. this isn't probable cause. I mean, it's he, he, very, he very obviously is involved in this distribution process. I mean, how else would he have it, right? Uh, I mean, he could buy it from someone. I mean, look, Wrangler look at it this way, Wrangler. When I deal with uh, bank robberies or gang members or anybody, right, who gets in shootouts it. or anything like that, uh, they almost always have meth on them. And a lot of people just buy it from the same person. Doesn't mean they're making it. I ran through the database and did not find this strain anywhere else. Well, that's not right. I got it. I found it like on one other person. But meanwhile, uh, there's the 20, strain is it's uh, what is it? 69, 69 Binturong. Yeah. B Bintuong. When's the first strain time it shows up? It's very, Binturong. very, re R. very recently. Binturong is like a monkey type mammal, ain't it? Or no, it's, it's like an anteater. Hold on. I got it pulled up over here. Yeah, it's like a cross between oh, like a pulled up. fox and the anteater. It's a weird looking fox. <sighs> oh yeah, it's the one that smells like popcorn. Oh. Well that's pleasant. Uh you know, I mean look, if if you're just hard no, 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 no. I'm, I'm talking gonna... through this. Where did okay. it first pop up? Let me take Hey uh Nova, can you see when the last time this uh sixty nine uh Bintuong thing I found it. Aud right. Audrey Webster. Hey, look, straight team. Yeah. Uh, 29744. A lot of these other IDs, they were street team as well, it looked like. I mean, it looks like there's a lot of links. Uh, Webster possession. This is what I think. I think this motherfucker is from December 4th. Mm -hmm. That's not that long and it's ago. Audrey Webster and Chase O'Dell. And hey, here's your. You know, Wrangler, this might th see why am I doing your job for you? This is the distributor, sale of drugs. Who? 
I'm looking at the report. Two nine seven four four. God damn it, Wrangler. Uh, well, two nine seven four four. Look it up. <clears throat> I just looked under evidence for the strain, and this is the earliest report. How is this any more of a link than the other guy, though? Because they've been caught distributing it, and you're looking for the distributor. If you're claiming that he's the distributor, this would suggest you're wrong. I mean, this quantity, you know, there's probably multiple distributors. I I'm so Well, I'm then why don't thaw. you start here and investigate? Uh, okay, I mean, do you think you'd sign a search warrant regarding this guy, or...? Well, that was uh, a month ago now. Now that you've found the manufacturing point and you're beginning to build a understanding of the network, uh, it sounds like you need to, I don't know, try to figure out more of the network. So who's who, what are they doing, where? Uh, and it sounds like if you can figure out how Miss Frost links into this or how these people communicate with each other, uh, then that might be leading you somewhere. You know, I mean, all right. I, I just... Do you, do you understand where I'm coming from here? I mean... I, I really don't. I, I don't understand. I mean, I do, but I, I, I don't understand how it's more likely that there's all these coincidences regarding Jalen Carter, you know, rather than... I mean, it just seems pretty obvious that he distributed this to, to Mari. I, I don't think the, that... The that, one that his, bag... Well, I mean, don't you think with how often these guys get arrested and Jalen's record, don't you think if he was like a primary distributor of this meth that you would have at least like other incidents with him possessing it? No, this is what I think happened. I think that uh, he went to go rob a bank. They were under a time crunch and he just grabbed some shit from his house that's normally meant to be sold on the street. Uh, so that's what I would call a possibility. Uh, but it's not something that I believe is rooted in enough probable cause for me to say it's more likely than not to be the case. Well, I mean, I think that there's, I mean, it's, it's, you know, he has this ID in this meth lab and then, you know, he's found with the same strain and he's giving it to a person. I mean, that just seems pretty straightforward, you know, distribution. Hold on. Someone is literally outside the door of chambers yelling crane. I can't unlock the door if you're standing there blocking the door. I'm going to lose my shit. Hello. Who is it? <laughs> hello. Yeah, hello. <laughs> Need to investigate uh, who, Jalen. Who's banging on the door of the chambers? Yeah. Just investigate. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Slick. Not right now. Okay. Uh, that's settled. Um, I've got a big thing. Yeah. I don't know. That's where I'm at. I'm kind of at the same place. I think. Um, All right. I mean, you if that's are close, right now, I think wait, wait, hang there's on, more investigation here. Hold on. Nova's, Nova's talking to me. What do you got? So, Chase Odell and uh, Aubrey Webster. One second. Yeah, I know. They were found with sales of drugs a month ago. Green yeah, but they both me. own Lindsay Circus One. Lindsay Circus One? Who owns that? That's uh, on our... Aubrey. Aubrey Webster. I don't think Aubrey anyone Webster's whose owner, ID was And he in was there. caught. Mm -hmm. Well, we got a search warrant based off the BSK because these people had it. And if, you know. It, it doesn't matter. Uh, all right. Look, I tell you what. I'll apply for subpoenas and uh, maybe those will come through tonight. Probably not. Um, subpoenas don't I'm yield sure shit. I'm sure I'll have to, you know, wait. I mean, if you're going to apply for subpoenas, then I'll look at them. How long is it going to take you to write them? I'm going to be honest, I'm probably just going to use this and apply. I'm just going to copy and paste this. I mean, she has a fucking meth lab, like you said. For who? Uh, Mercury Frost? Yes, for Mercury. Yeah, I'll, I'll, that is a very easy signature. 
All right. Well, I'll go hey, ahead look, and do if that. it was me, Wrangler, and I've told you this before, if I found someone with a distribution level or manufacturing of meth, weed, whatever, I would immediately uh, file for subpoenas for their bank and their phone records for at least like the last two weeks, if not a month. If only you knew. <laughs> uh, well, that, that, again, that we know gonna, we I'm never get gonna, shit off that. I'm not going to get into that. Oh, that is so wrong. You have no idea. The only I the, I've only ever gotten it off Juan Carlos too when he's blatantly Wrangler, saying Wrangler. You have no idea. Okay. I have I have I have looked through and fulfilled subpoenas for people on some of the highest level criminals in the city. And I have stared at text messaged pictures of them standing in front of giant weed fields. I have read pictures of people <laughs> saying to each other He's talking about, about how they hit the vault last night and it was really <laughs> crazy and how they shot down the cop. You are missing the boat here. All right. Okay. You know what? Maybe I'm wrong. I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll apply for it and we'll just see. No one cares about texting because no one files for subpoenas. All right. Well, maybe you're right. Maybe it's an avenue that I need to uh, go down. Uh -huh. All right. I'll slap All right, you in a we'll subpoena. See you.